In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how the Divi theme creates parallax effects. There's two ways. They're slightly different. One is true parallax, one is CSS based. I'm going to show you the differences and how to create both of them in this tutorial. And we're getting started right now. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here and you like WordPress and you like learning hacks and tricks and all kinds of stuff to help you get better at it, hit subscribe, then hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and start this WordPress tutorial. I'll see you there. The first thing I'm going to do is add a new page by going to pages and then add new. I'm going to call this page Divi Parallax Testing. I'm going to click on save draft. Then I'm going to click on use the Divi Builder and on the section, and the row, these two, the blue and the green, that's where we add our parallax. But to make it work, we have to have some content inside of the row, otherwise the background won't have any height and we won't be able to, to see any parallax effects, there's no height. We need height to see parallax. So I'm gonna create a new row, a full width row. Inside of here, I'm just gonna put a text element and I'm just gonna say this is my text and I'm just gonna copy and paste not quite how I meant to do it. Copy and paste this over and over and over. So we have some height in this element. Maybe too much height, but we'll see. So to add the parallax effect, again, either the section or the row, you have to test which one works better for you. Generally, the row is not full width. The section is, depending on your settings, but generally that's the case. I'm just gonna add mine to the row in this case. And for both of them, in the background, we have to choose image, which is this icon here, and that will enable the parallax. If we scroll down after just having it on a color, we see after the background, it goes to column background and the admin label. When we choose image, it now has more options in here than the column background, than the admin label. So we have to choose image and possibly video. Well, there's more options for video, but not parallax. So anyway, choose image. So I'm gonna choose an image for my background. I'm gonna make it one of the ones that I always have on here. Let's make it this uh, peaceful looking sunset here. We have our image. Click on this no to turn parallax on. And the method, we have two of them, is true parallax and CSS. You have to try which one works best for you. So let's just try the true first. Click on save and exit. Let's just publish this. Then we're gonna be able to see whether our text appears properly with the background, whether there's too much text. Might have to adjust that as well. We're gonna see that in just a moment. Now that's saved, let's head out to the front end and see how it looks. That's a whole lot of text that we have there. And it doesn't look great because there's a big block of text. And it's too much, we, we do see a little bit of parallax, but there's too much text to make it really worthwhile. So I'm actually gonna enable the visual builder and start editing on the front end here to make things go a little faster. So in the front end builder, as we hover over things, we see options and gears and things appear. This, uh, the, these colors are the same as the colors in the back end. So we have blue for the section, green for the row, gray for the element, which is the same as back here. Blue for the section, green for the row, gray for the element. So out here, I'm gonna adjust the text by clicking on this gear icon and I wanna cut this text down. I'm gonna get rid of a lot of it. This looks quite a bit better but we don't have any space to scroll because we're all on one page here. So let's add some more blank rows just so we have some scrollable space so we can scroll down. Your page will likely have content here, but as we scroll, we see the bridge here, for example, starts to disappear as we scroll, and that is parallax. So the background for this element now has parallax. And if we added a background to the overall section, that would be parallaxing as we go. In fact, let's try that. First things first, let's click on these three dots down here and save. Now let's hover over the gear icon for the section, click the drop down for background, click on image, choose an image. Let's choose a very different image than we have. Different colors, choose this one, it's not very big. Let's choose this one instead. Click on update image, make it parallax, make this one CSS parallax, and click the checkbox. Now when we scroll, we see our bridge is moving, but our background is not really, maybe just too big. Let's get rid of some of these rows. Uh, it moves a little bit, not much. Let's change this one to CSS to see if we can see the difference. 
So we're gonna change this from true parallax to CSS parallax. And now we see that the background image actually stays put and the content kind of scrolls over top of it. So if I change this back to true parallax, we'll see that the background image moves as well. So the background image moves, so as I scroll up, the background image is moving up as well, but slower than the foreground. That's true parallax. CSS parallax is when the content just scrolls over top of the background and the background doesn't move. Those are the two differences. That is how we apply them to the page. It didn't work out for our big background here because we're just not scrolling enough, the image isn't big enough. Either way, use these methods to add parallax to your Divi rows and sections. Play around with the settings till you get them to how you want them. And that's it. So that's all there is to it. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.